In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to create an Allegro graph repository and how to build a Ruby on Rails application that allows us to compare products at Best Buy. First, we need a server running a copy of Allegro graph. For this demo, I want to keep things simple. So I'm going to use the pre-release version of hosted Allegro graph, which is a new product coming from Franz. Note that hosted Allegro graph is under heavy development and it's currently intended for adventurous users only. We're going to walk through the sign-up process step-by-step step and create a new user account. The current prototype of hosted Allegro Graph actually manages an Amazon EC2 account for us. I've already signed up for a throwaway EC2 account, and I've written down my secret access keys. I'm going to hand these over to host Allegro Graph and ask it to manage EC2 on my behalf. Next. Amazon is going to want us to review the hourly fees for hosted Allegro Graph. The current version of hosted Allegro Graph actually runs using Amazon DevPay, which is an Amazon service where companies can set up an EC2 server image and set an hourly fee for running it, and Amazon actually handles the billing. This is not necessarily how the service is going to work in the long run, but this is what's in the prototype. So we're going to sign into our Amazon account. And notice that there's a 26 cent fee in this current version. I'm told that this price will be going away is, uh, before hosted Allegro Graph is released. Okay, now that we've confirmed the pricing with Amazon, we can select which size of server we want to run. Do we want a monster server with 68 gigabytes of RAM, eight processors, and one terabyte of disk? Or do we just want a little demo system? Yeah, we'll go with the micro. It's a great system for experimenting or for building small, low traffic sites. It will cost us about two cents an hour. Uh, less if we're eligible for the Amazon free tier, and it will store 50 million RDF triples. Okay, hosted Allegro Graph is starting our server. This will take two or three minutes. I'll be right back. Okay, our server is ready. Let's log into AG WebView. This is the web UI for managing Allegro Graph databases and qu running queries to the web. It's actually a really great tool. In the current version of hosted Allegro Graph, we need to re-enter our email and password at this point. That's it. We now have a running Allegro Graph server, and we're ready to create some RDF repositories. Join us for part two, where, where we create a Ruby on Rails application that allows us to compare product ratings using RDF A data that we get from Best Buy.